Hi everyone, I'm Josh, and welcome to Josh Wright Piano TV. Today's episode is about a concept that I know I've discussed somewhere among my videos, uh, but I can't remember where. We've made hundreds at this point. So even if this video is just to serve as a reminder, I think that this can really help to make your long expressive lines sound more natural, okay? So one of the interesting tips that I remember learning from Sergei Babayan in a lesson is I was playing this. And one observation that he made, and it's fixed now, but I was doing a lot of this. I was almost doing a separate wrist and arm motion for every single note. This is a really common issue I see among students when they're playing in slow tempi. It doesn't happen as much in fast tempi. If you were playing, your hand naturally kind of makes this circular motion down and around back up to that A flat. You feel that kind of semi-circle motion coming over and then going back up to there. And uh, Babayan had said, you know, why don't you practice that in a fast tempo and just cycle it? And I said, okay, that feels good. And he said, now maintain that same shape in your hand. And it feels so natural. Uh, so I wanted to demonstrate with also a new piece today, because I know I've mentioned that Nocturne, uh, but this is the Rachmaninoff Prelude in G major, uh, Opus 32, number five. One of my favorite uh, pieces Rachmaninoff ever wrote. Such a beautiful uh, melody here. So. Perhaps we'll make a pro practice on this piece at some point, a pro practice tutorial. Um, so I would say the same thing. I remember teaching this to a student and they went. So they felt that as one motion, but they felt those as two separate motions and then new motion. And then you end up getting sounds like this. It sounds very punched, very vertical. Whereas if you do this, You notice it's a natural motion for your wrist and your arm to just kind of uni unif uh, in a unified way, kind of lift that weight out like that. So, so coming down and going back up and pulling that weight out. Now I'm not saying that you're not grounded in the notes. It doesn't want to be like totally shallow and, and feel like you're slipping off the key. So you can practice feeling grounded in each note, but then as you unify this, that will feel really nice and it will sound organic and rounded. So. Same thing there, don't. Students often kill their resolutions and it's not because, you know, they don't know better. It's, it's it sometimes has to do with the hand anatomy. They're, or the, sorry, not the anatomy, but the way that they're moving. Like the, if you do an up motion there versus continuing that motion, or you could even kind of pull back if you'd rather do that. That's another method I've, heard many teachers describe, so. Or even you could do more of an afterthought there. Almost into nothing. 
okay? So I hope that little tip helps you in any Chopin Nocturne that you're playing, any slow Mozart uh, uh, movement or uh, piece that you're playing, anything slow, lyrical by any composer really that has long, beautiful lines, anything by Schubert. That is often a huge challenge of playing slow music. How can I make my lines sound unified and not sound pieced together note by note? And this little uh, unification of motion and doing larger motions over the course of many notes is one way that I've personally seen help me in my own practice as well as my students in their practice. Uh, I hope this video has helped. I'm going to leave a few links in the comment section or in the description below. One of them is for a free webinar containing 10 of my favorite tips to take your playing to that next level. Uh, highly recommend you check those out. Those are things I still use in my practice every day and certainly in my teaching. Uh, I will leave links for two of my paid courses. And then finally, I will leave a link for my kit, which is uh, a collection of all the gear that I use to make these videos and some other fun gear in there like beginner technique book or uh, beginner method books, um, repertoire, uh, beginner repertoire books, uh, theory books, and um, some fun CDs and books to read uh, in case you're looking for a little extra, ins extra inspiration there. Have a great week, everyone. Good luck in your practice sessions.